Let's go. Welcome back to some more Earthbound. In the last part, we endured the Lilyfoot Steps. We got our, our third uh, sanctuary uh, location. Now, if we use it, we kind of. I didn't want to. I didn't mean to do that, but. Ridiculous. Uh, I forgot A skips the dialogue. So yeah, we have three out of eight your sanctuary locations. So, now that we've got that out of the way, we might as well go back. Now, uh, we thought these enemies were uh, bad. Now, uh, they're gonna run away because the typical once we get the, uh, the, once we get the, uh, PS, once we, uh, get the your sanctuary that they will just run away from us. So it's nice. We don't have to, we don't have to get spored again because, like, um, that was annoying in the last part. It was also annoying in the last part that I didn't do a test recording, so like the first five minutes you can hear the audio. I'll, I'll try to see if I can fix that in the editing. Ness is now level 29. Offense went up by one. Mass HP went up by three. Ness has the power of Paralysis Omega. Paul is level 27. Offense went up by one. Mass HP went up by three. Paul has the power of PSI Shield. I think it's it's not shield in my I gotta figure out what it is. I think it's I think it's shield uh it's not shield in my it's uh I'm trying to think of that uh term. I'll put it on the screen. Alright, so now we got that out of the system. So that's the last we can do in Saturn Valley. We're gonna have to come back to Saturn Valley later on, but uh we got the hint from the guy giving us coffee that uh we basically hinted the guy giving us coffee that uh, we're going to need to. What am I trying to say? I imply this. Uh, we're gonna try to. We got the hint the guy giving coffee. We need to go to a desert. Now, uh, there's one thing I want to do. I want to see if we can fix the broken laser. That's one thing. So we are gonna heal. That's enough to fix the broken laser. We're gonna try to fix the broken laser after being fixed. We're gonna be the laser gun. Yes. So, uh, Jeff can now put the laser gun, which is a step up from the, that. So, uh, I'm also going to call x Scargo Express to see if we can take our weapons that we don't need anymore. Because, uh, let's just say you can't exactly do it the next part of the game, so we might as well do it now. If you need any inventory that you have left, um, at this point in the game, your inventory should be full. Just call x Scargo Express get rid of them. Just get rid of them. So, uh, we, uh, we're gonna need, uh, the Ness is fine, so, uh, we're gonna give, uh, him the stun gun. And we're gonna give him the, uh, magnum air gun. And our Paula's inventory, we're gonna give him, uh, where is it? We're gonna give him the red ribbon. In order to clear more inventory space, I'm going to call Escargo Express one more time, just so I can get rid of a few more things. So yeah, we don't need to go through this dialogue again. Maybe I shouldn't show Colin Escargo Express again, but uh, yeah, we just walk around, you know. Because once you get to the next area, you're not going to be able to call Escargo Express. So you really charge it 18, so uh, let's see. Uh, we can get rid of. Uh, we don't need the broken. We don't need the broken machine anymore. We don't need the bicycle. And we don't need. The Jeff is fine with the inventory space. We don't need. Uh, we don't need the uh, jar of fly honey anymore. That's, that should be good with that scar of press item. So uh, now we're gonna leave. Uh, now we are pretty much gonna leave um, Saturn Valley. We have to come back here late. We're gonna we're gonna be able to come back here much later on though. So don't miss Saturn Valley just yet. Oh great! Now, see, I'm just gonna show something. We should be much stronger than this end by this point. Because we have a stronger we have stronger weapons too. Yeah. Didn't get a 1 in 20 item though. 
I would say at this point, like, um, it, you should be more armored up. So, like, the, pla the plain crocodile has a 120 chance of stopping the Meteorium, but, like, um, if you're at this point, you shouldn't be stronger than you were before. So, if you want to grind out that item, maybe you should best chance to it now while you're getting back to, uh, while you're trying to get back to three. No one from 29 for us, but, uh, yeah. Another one of these battles. But yeah, if you uh, you can do it right here. Like even here, it's like uh, you get 500 XP for an enemy that's like that's very easy to kill. So like it's a solid. Pretty much like 10 of these that would get you a level up. Get to level 27. Offense went up by one. Speed went up by one. Max speed went up by two. So yeah, we're gonna make the long journey back to Creed. You know, I think hopefully we get no enemies in our way. Yeah, we're stronger here than we were before going in this area. I think we got a 120. Oh, wait, no. We don't even get to insta kill us either. Yeah. We're not strong enough. Uh, with that plain crocodile sugar packet. Okay. That's not a 128 item, but it's that. It's, I think it's a 4 in 128 item chance it appears. Now, uh, we should be stronger here than we were before. Let's try to get that 128 item. Well, this, is, this will be the only attempt because I don't really care about whether they get me or not. You just sell it. We didn't get it. Hey, another plain crocodile. Okay, one freeze beta will just kill the plain crocodile. I don't know, what would a real life equivalent of a plain crocodile be? Like, one that couldn't attack humans? Like, I don't know, like, I'm trying to think, like, um... Trying to think, I don't know, like... I don't even know if they're... Cause, like, I knew- I do know, like... I do know the difference between a crocodile and an alligator, how they're, like, behaving and all that, like, um... Anyway, so I do know how the difference between a crocodile and an alligator behave. Like with most alli with alligators, when they see it, they pretty much just run away. But crocodiles, they they go after people. No joke. Interestingly enough, we got a black android in this battle. They'd be we'd be very strong against those as part of the game because red androids like black androids are stronger. Some fights are just kind of out sometimes, other than just, just not. We get 700 XP though, so it's not too bad. I will say, I'd say that much like Peace of it's easy to get through this area coming back then, because you're stronger without points, it's obvious. And now we're in the uh, underground area. The zombie, there should be no more zombies. I, I don't want to confidently say there should be no more zombies, but uh, there should be no more zombies. There's no more zombies. We need to make the long journey up these stairs. Make, and we uh, make the long journey up these more stairs. We climb up the ladder. And we hear this music. Is uh, three is a much different place now. Look at this music, by the way. Very solid. You don't hear this music very often, but again, they should have gotten a raise for it. They even bring you peace and happiness to free. Thanks, peace, love. I won't forget you. Won't you come back to free sometime? Well, early enough, I didn't think those kids could have saved the cow. We could have imagined it. Since the leader of the monsters was gone, the ghost in the tunnel disappeared. The bus can get through the tunnel now. Maybe talk to this guy. Alrighty. Do you have anything else to say? Alrighty. He just says the same thing. But, uh, yeah. We could not... I want to go see the desert to the big city. I want to see the city over there. I want to smell like the big city. I'm a real urban type of guy. Sweet. Thank you. You're heroes. That rocks. That's what he says. 
I heard there's a guy digging for buried treasure in the dusty dunes desert. A lot share the treasure share would be nice. What's he say? Trying to be dark, but thanks to you, now it's bright. I used to I had to run all over to escape the zombie. Now I can't remember where my house says. But that jetpack guy says. That's the person I talk to. Shh. Don't talk to him. What do you want? But all right. Ooh, I never even like knew you could buy stuff from him. Not even really need any of these items because there'll be upgrades in this next area. I never knew that. I've learned. Le that's really like another thing I've even learned about this six this playthrough. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna check the bus here. Looks like that's supposed to come pretty soon. So yeah, now we can get the bus out of three, which we couldn't before. Let's go to the four side. I can't really know if you don't pay six dollars for a fare. Long go. All right. This is bit, so, uh, yeah, the, this basically the bus is another way to like, uh, how we travel th throughout the game. Because previously the, the Runaway 5 got us here, but now the ghosts are gone, we can basically use the bus. We can now use the bus also to get back to Onet or Tucson if, Tucson if we wanted to get to any of those areas. Job is dropped, so I can't get off the bus. Except you join your own the ones walk around in the desert. Hey, it's a free country. <laughs> yeah. I feel sorry for the guys behind me. I'm so bent. I'm leaving my car here and walking instead. We're preventing a long traffic jam. I heard that a little ways ahead, there's buffalo running across the road. I can't move an inch. I was going to see my girlfriend from the side. This car somebody else. How many years old that time I get there? That is if you're still alive, how many years old? Traffic jam taking forever. So yeah, they're blocking the wood four sides. So we're gonna find our little way around this. The drugstore. Now um another thing we can call your dad to save progress, and we should have uh, okay, seven hundred dollars seven seven thousand dollars in the bank account. So um gonna take out some money because we're gonna need that. One of the reasons why I recommend getting rid of inventory space back in Mr. Saturn Valley is because, uh, let's just say in this area, you cannot do that. We're gonna get the Mr. Big Ball back because the step up from Ness's inventory is often safe from 78 to 90, and we can sell the Magnum we've got. Now we can also get, uh, we can also get the Deluxe Fry Pan, which is separate from the Thick Fry Pan, and, uh, basically we can. It are deep often changed 53 to 63. We can sell the stick, the sick frying pan. We don't have anything we can get for Jeff, but uh, we can get silly blaze certs as well as point of slumbers, and they basically are for Ness and Jeff. You know, Steve and Shane 42 or 47, and you buy the copper bracelet. And we're gonna buy one silver bracelet for Jeff. And if she runs from 43 to 48, we can sell the copper bracelet, and we can buy basically. We can buy one coin of slumber for each. Defense chain from 47 to 62. We're gonna sell the hard hat and uh, we're gonna get the coin of slumber to Jeff. So yeah, we should be all equipped up for this point in the game. Now if we go here, um, there's another point where I'd recommend buying refreshing nerve, but I don't recommend doing that just yet. Now if we're talking to this guy, um, we're talking an inn. He runs an inn, so this is another way you can get healed. Yeah, it's basically another way we can get healed. So, um, yeah, now we're gonna have to make the journey through the desert. Now, the interesting thing about is there's a mole plane rough. Apparently, the, there's a mole plane rough because um of a of um there's an there was like a thing in the programming where like um you could like um there was a thing, there was. Programming reason as to why the mole plane rough is there. There's a whole video that explains about it that I'll link in the description and the the see the mole plane rough. Watch that because uh 
I watched that while researching this. Apparently, it's like a programming thing because, like, um, if I'm not playing rough one, there, be, the game would be like a broken mess. Very interesting watch. Now, uh, there's gonna be new enemies here. Anyway, so, um. Dang. These are the cute little UFOs. They're like the UFOs in Peaceful Restaurant, it's like stronger now. And these are also the, the, Skel the Skelpians. Um. Can you first because they can poison you? They are, they are weak to freeze also. So yeah, we're, we're done with that. Now, I just want to show all the potential enemies you can get in this area. There's a present, there was a fresh egg, which, uh, I don't think I need that. I don't want to, I don't want to use that because it will activate the fresh, the uh, salt packet. But back to these NPCs. We sleep in the desert, so we're often mistaken for corpses, but of course I need to wear babies. Like, hey, stop staring at my channels, go away. I don't know, kids, but a group of brass, scat you little monsters. That can't be healthy to do that. I think there's a triggering spot for the cameraman around here. I'd have to reach up. Ooh! These are the names. These are Smile and Smear. They're another type of exploding enemy, so take these out last. However, they have one of 120 chests to drop on the meteority on them, so if you want to get one of those and sell them. But, uh, it's another thing I recommend doing more later than now. But, uh, now, uh, these, uh, these, uh, enemies also, uh, the Crested Bookas, they're also, uh, they're also weak to freeze. They should be, um, take, we're gonna take that one out first, because we don't want mortal damage dealt with us. Work on Paula. Blowing well, a bit to mean it can do mortal damage to everyone, and uh, yeah. Paula's now level 28. Offense went up by one, defense went up by one. Oh baby, speed went up by three, guts went up by two. Oh baby, IQ went up by three, luck went up by two, max speed went up by three. That rocks, max speed went up by 15, yes! Now these are also new, there are also a new set of enemies here. Oh fuck, first attack, no! These are the bad buffaloes. They're, uh, they do a lot of damage, and, uh, thank god I didn't sound tall, uh, but, uh, yeah. Just, use a freeze beta to shoot them. Thank god I didn't sound tall, uh. Just use a freezer. Bad bubbles are sure. If we can get it in the solidify, um, that wouldn't be too bad. I knew it. I knew it was gonna attack Paula. We're just gonna use a freeze beta. The bad buffalo became tame. Probably gonna have to also kill Jeff. I think one, I think, it's, I think I'm mistaken. The Desert Wolves are weak to freeze, so, uh... And they can also poison you. Oh yeah, jeez, that was a bad fight. Ness is now level 30, offense went up by 1, guts went up by 1, max HP up by 3. We're gonna, we're gonna use life up beta on Jeff. We're gonna use this guy right here. The skip sandwich deluxe. Yeah, we're gonna use that to go faster. I wanna give it to someone else because I don't want uh to use the salt the salt pack out the sugar pack. I wanna use that later on. Cause uh I love these Oh my god. Can we get to the next area? Oh yeah, talk to this guy. This one's great, good hope, good hope. You're someone asking you different girl girls. Fairy tale is all the time. Man, I'm sorry, never to give you. Make sure you do this. Because we gotta um do we have anything? We're gonna give him the protein drink. And these things right here, they act as a call your dad and an in.
So we're not gonna do that quite yet. We're almost out of this desert. Now we haven't seen this yet, but like you can get sunstroke. So if, you, if the screen flashes, that means you get sunstroke. Healing beta and crushing arms will get rid of those. Ladies and gentlemen, once we walk through this tunnel, we're about to hear one of the best songs in Earthbound, and probably one of the best songs in any mother game. love this very much. This is the four side. We are now at four side. Now four side is a massive area. Get used to seeing four side because I want to say once you reach four side, you've essentially reached the second half of Earthbound. Like there's, I think the first half is when is like uh when you get Paul and Jeff all that. The second half officially begins when you reach four side. These are our new enemies. These are extra crankulies, they're like the ones in Tucson, except stronger. And they can also solidify you and, uh, yeesh, smash attack. I think it's an appropriate time to cut it off this part of Earthbound, so next time on Earthbound, we're gonna see what's up, we're gonna explore the massive area that is Foreside. See you guys then.